Listen. Hi. What? No, yes. this is serious. This is serious. I, I have been a fan for a really long time. Thank you. Um, I know you don't. You don't. Uh, uh, we got everybody in the world to come see Hamilton except for you. But yes, I haven't made it. You invited me here today, and I'm, I'm just very happy to meet you. It's Thank been you so, so much. Inspiring to watch you like invent and reinvent. It's oh. just awesome. Thank you so very much. Yeah. That's very nice of you. No, there's a whole long story about why it, when we were in New York that I didn't make it, but uh, but now it's been on, now millions of people, including myself, has seen it because it was on Disney Plus. I know. So now how? And that was the first time you saw it, right? <laughs> that was the first time. I, I had heard so much about the original cast, but I'd never seen them. Uh, I, thought they, <laughs> I thought they did great. Uh huh. It was. Um, it, we don't. When we do theater, we sign up to uh, be a part of this ephemeral thing. You know, it's it's a rare gift that you get to as a part of a theater project, get to sit back and watch it. I, I never yeah. expected that. Yeah, I mean, very cool, though. I mean, that is so weird, because you're performing, and then you don't really get to appreciate it, uh, because it's not television. You don't get to watch it back, but now you have. And really, yeah. it must feel like people recognize you, because now everyone has seen it. Yes, uh, before we premiered, the, a couple days before we premiered, Tommy Kale, our director, he said, Leslie, do you realize that this weekend, more people are going to see you in Hamilton than saw the entire run on Broadway. And I, you know, I did over 500 shows of Aaron Burr. Right. So it was hard to wrap my mind around. But, you know, like, a after a great show on Broadway, like a night where I feel really felt like I did a great job, I'd come home, 10, 15 people would say something on Instagram. Never have I been a on this, the receiving end of, like, a tidal wave of love, the way Hamilton you know, inspires yeah. people. Yeah, yeah. Um, and congratulations, you're having a baby. You're, you're not, you're not. No. So you're having, you have a little girl, you're having a little boy. Yeah. How is she uh, feeling about being, does she understand she's gonna be a big sister? She understands we use it uh, all the time to get her to do the things we want her to do. You know, you're, you're, you're gonna be a big sister, you gotta be mature, you're gonna have to teach your little brother how to do things. And um, she, she's very excited about it and so are her uh, invisible friends. She's got a couple of, two trolls that she travels around with. Um, we have to, you know, they're part of the family at this mm -hmm. point. Mm -hmm. They're a little voting block. If there's a movie, somehow, if there's a movie Lucille wants to watch, if there's a naughty snack she wants to eat, somehow the trolls always agree with her. It's wow. very strange. <laughs> so she's a little worried that her, her little brother might disrupt the voting block that mm -hmm. she has going, but yep. she's excited. Well, I'm sure she'll somehow hear a voice from him and he right. will agree with her before he can even talk. I think you're right. Uh, let's talk about One Night in Miami. Uh, now you could get uh, two Oscar nominations, one for acting, one for the song. Yeah. Um, I mean, you, you make good choices in, in your projects. Yeah, I mean, I, we, showed, we went to your hometown. We shot that in I know. New Orleans, actually. I know. And, uh, you know, I, I remember flying to New Orleans. It wasn't that long ago, and I just wanted to do a good job. I just didn't want to mess it up, you know? So I certainly, uh, all of the, the response and the, the reviews and stuff, have just, I've never experienced anything like that. Um, it's a special project, though. Regina King, her directorial Direct, debut, yep. or fil you know, on film. She's done an ex extraordinary job, and my castmates. It's a special, special movie. Yeah, I mean, really, you have a Grammy, you have a Tony, now two... Oscar, they're saying like for sure, this is not like just, I'm just saying it, everyone's saying it. Yeah. That would be amazing. I mean, when I was a kid, I, all I wanted was to be, you know, I don't know, in Cats or something, you know, I just, or an usher, <laughs> and a curtain puller, you know, in a, in a Broadway show. I just, like that, that was all I kind of saw for myself. So all of this stuff is icing. Ta being on this set talking into you today, I mean, it's just, it's all good. I've, I've already far exceeded any expectation or dream I had for myself. It makes it even sweeter when it's like that, when you yeah. just, you have this, this vision of just wanting to be creative in some, in some form in this world, and then you keep getting more and more and more. Congratulations. Thank you so And now you have this Christmas album. Yeah. So, all right. And uh, Leslie's gonna perform a little later in the show. Uh, the Christmas album is available everywhere. And all of you are getting a copy. You're all going home with this right now. All right, we'll be right back.